Hey, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit post for you. This one has several updates, so get ready. Strap yourselves in. It's going to be another emotional roller coaster, most likely. I don't know what it says yet. Title of this one is My 37 Male Wife's 34 Female Sister, 29 Female, Tried to Kiss Me, and Now My Wife is Spiraling. Help me. Originally posted the 17th of January, 2023. As the title says, my wife's sister made a pass at me at a recent family gathering, and I have no idea what to do. For context, I think my wife Jenna is absolutely gorgeous, but she has some really negative body image issues. This is in large part because of her sister, Mary, who is very conventionally attractive as opposed to Jenna's more unconventional, but in my opinion, striking beauty. Mary was a successful model until a couple of years ago and now works in the fashion industry. In our early days of dating, when I would tell Jenna that she's beautiful, she would always say, just wait until you see my sister. When I did finally meet her family, she would randomly press me for weeks to talk about her sister, whether I thought she was more attractive than her, etc. I always told her the truth. I think that Mary is attractive in a boring way, and I think that my wife is much more beautiful and interesting to look at. She wouldn't let it go until I confronted her about how uncomfortable it made me and asked her what was going on. This is when she told me that she has always had a chip on her shoulder about her looks because of being compared with her sister growing up. They fell into the classic smart one, pretty one dynamic their whole lives. She also said Mary had a habit of being flirty with all of her exes and warned me that it would happen to me eventually. She then started sobbing and begging me not to cheat on her with her sister, to which I forcefully said I would never cheat on her with anyone, let alone her sister. I've been crazy about my wife since day one, and there's literally no woman on earth who could come close to her. I honestly didn't believe her about the flirting at first. I assumed it was just an extension of her insecurity, but I was wrong. Whenever we get together with my wife's family, Mary always finds ways to touch me and make little innuendos, comments about me or my body. It's super uncomfortable for everyone, especially my wife, and I've called her out on it before. She'll cool it for a while, but eventually start doing it again. It's been six years of this, and every time it happens, my wife is upset for days, and I have to do a lot of reassuring. Okay, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do this right now. And we're going to go ahead and do this right now. I'm going to send sister all the way up here. Mary, why you got to be messing with your sister's relationship? She, this is clearly intentional. She's just, just messing with her sister. On to the current problem. A few days ago, we were at my mother-in-law's birthday party, and Mary asked me to help her grab some things from the garage. As soon as we walked into the garage, she turned and pressed me up against the door with her whole body and started trying to kiss me. I immediately pushed her off and asked her what the F she was doing. She started giggling and saying that she was just doing what we had both been thinking and kept insisting, you know you want to. I told her she was out of her mind and ran out of there. I went straight to my wife and told her that we were leaving. The whole ride home, she was asking me what was wrong. I wasn't sure whether to tell her because I knew how much it was going to hurt her, but also I thought Mary would probably try to spin it as me making a move on her, so I had to just say it. I told her everything, and she cried the whole way home. For the last several days, Mary has been calling and texting my wife, doing exactly what I thought she would do, even telling my wife that I said, Mary was the hottest girl I've ever seen, which I had to assure my wife a million times that I did not and would never say, even though she believes my account of, this, of the situation. She's been a complete wreck the last several days. She's hardly eating. She pulls away from my touch when I try to hug her or just hold her hand. She says she feels hideous and disgusting, and I don't know what to do. This is the lowest I have ever seen her, and it hurts to see how much she's hurting. I have no idea what to do to help her heal from this. Reddit, what should I do? Before we discuss, a couple of comments. Commenter, all family gatherings that include Mary must now be non-attendable. Your wife knows what an awful woman her sister is, and hopefully the rest of the family does too. To be honest, your wife's sister is evil. You have reassured your wife of your love and faithfulness. Your wife is incredibly insecure about herself, so obviously a professional may be in an order for her and yourself to talk to. You love your wife, so stand by her and be there to support her. Original OP, my in-laws definitely enable her behavior. She's the golden child. They brag about her constantly, even though my wife is literally a neuroscientist. Their mom was a pageant queen, and she was their dad's much younger trophy wife. Honestly, we may have to go no contact with all of them. Okay, so let's let's chat about this for a second. Yeah, no no contact with all of them. This this makes perfect sense because they enable her behavior. And sis, there there are two motivations here for Mary. I believe there are two motivations. Notice that Mary wasn't there with the significant other. Mary can't stand the fact that she feels, and I say feels, Mary knows in her bones that she is better than her sister. She believes it with every fiber in her being. So, being so much better than her sister, she can't effing stand 
that her sister has something that she cannot have, a loving relationship that's successful. Can't stand it. So, two motivations. She knows that she's so much better, can't stand that her sister has this thing, so she's trying to ruin it, right? She's trying to ruin it because she doesn't want her sister to be happy. If she can't be happy, no one can be happy. There are those who who rise by lifting others, and there are those who just climb on the backs of other people to make it seem like they're taller. This is one of those people. Shit human. The other motivating factor here is that because she feels like she's hot shit, she feels like everybody wants her. How could he not want her? This is Mary's insecurity rearing its ugly head here. (laughs) And as a parallel, oh yeah, as a bonus, it just destroys her sister's happiness as well. This is really about Mary's insecurity though, and her allowing it to just turn her into a shit evil human being. So there's part of this that's a challenge. It's like, am I hot enough to steal him? Oh, yes, I know I am. And then also, I want to destroy her happiness because I don't have that. No contact, dude. Update. My 37 male wife's 34 female sister, 29 female, tried to kiss me, and now my wife is spiraling. Help me. This is the 19th of January, 2023. I got a few requests for updates, so here it is. I first want to thank everyone so much for your advice. It was extremely helpful and gave me a lot to think about. I'm especially thankful for the folks that asked me how I was doing. I realized that I have literally never had a chance to check in with myself after these things happened, and I've actually been holding a lot of frustration and resentment about it all. I've been harassed for years, and it has either been brushed off or it's been eclipsed by the impact it has on my wife. I don't blame her for it, but this has been a good lesson in me not burying my feelings for the sake of others, even for her. I also want to clarify a couple of things that came up. Several people asked about how my wife's family feels about all this, and I explained in a comment that her parents are toxic and treat Mary as the golden child, even though my wife is a freaking neuroscientist, amazingly talented musician, speaks three languages fluently, and another two conversationally. My wife and her family are seriously the only people who don't seem to understand how exceptional she is. That sucks. I remember meeting one of my wife's family friends and talking to them about her research, and they said, oh wow, her parents just told us she works at a university. Whereas my parents literally introduce her as the family genius to everyone. It makes me so effing angry to think about how her asshole family has stolen away her shine her whole life. She's literally a renaissance woman, but all they care about is looks and money. Why I would. Some folks ask me why I would ever put myself in a situation alone with Mary given everything that she's done. I have no good answers for that other than I never thought she would actually try and do anything. That possibility just didn't exist in my head. I realize now I should have seen this happen eventually and that I should have been less concerned with keeping the peace and more concerned with shutting Mary's shit down before it escalated to this point. Hindsight is 2020. Anyway, on to the update. The night I posted, I told my wife that if she wanted to try to repair her relationship with her sister, I would respect that, but that I don't feel comfortable being around her for the foreseeable future. I said Mary has obviously been deeply jealous of my wife her whole life because she is a hollow, ugly person whose entire value has an expiration date, while my wife actually has substance. I said that I think her whole family is toxic and has done nothing but put her down her whole life, but that only she can decide whether she still wants them in her life. Very well said here, OP. I think that would be really difficult to communicate to someone in a way that that they would actually absorb, but that was very concise uh, and said everything that needed to be said. I also told my wife that while I don't blame her for her emotional reaction, her insecurity is something that she needs to work on for our relationship to be healthy. What Mary did was sexual assault, and she's been sexually harassing me for years, but I have consistently put aside my own feelings about this problem because of how it affects her, and that has prevented me from getting the support that I need to. I told her that her reaction only serves to punish herself and me for her sister's behavior, and there's no reason to give her that kind of power. I also told her something that a commenter said that really resonated with me. The only people who have ever considered her second best are her and her family. Everyone else sees her for who she really is. She was crying the whole time and agreed that she needed to go to therapy to work on her insecurity. We were able to find a therapist who specializes in body image slash self-esteem issues to work on with her individually, and we're going to look for a couple's therapist too. My wife sent a message to her parents and sister that explained exactly what happened and told them that she would reach out to them if she ever feels ready to repair their relationship. We blocked all of them everywhere, but Mary has of course been spamming my family and our friends with nonsense, claiming I attacked her, I'm a drug addict, I abused my wife, all kinds of bullshit that thankfully nobody believes. My wife is still down in the dumps, but I can see that things are getting a little better. 
She's eating and sleeping more and she's cuddling with me in the mornings again, which is nice. Now I'm planning a surprise getaway for us this weekend. We're going to one of our favorite places and I'm going to wine and dine her and try to make her feel like a goddamn queen because she is one. I want to thank you all again for your help. You really helped me understand the severity of the problem. And again, thanks for helping me connect with my own feelings about all this. Y'all are the best. Comments, you are an absolute legend. She's found herself another genius who knows how to navigate life without infantile drama. I wish you both nothing but the absolute best. Original OP, the only genius thing I've ever done is marry her. I'm a pretty average dude, to be honest, so I have no idea how I snagged her. Sad to think her low self-esteem probably played a part, but I do work hard to be a good husband every day. We have an update. We have an update, but yeah, that's, uh, uh, families like this are just the worst. Who, who coddle the golden child who obviously has, has some severe issues, but let one child do so much damage to another. And they're just like, yeah, that's that's the way it should be. She's pretty, so she can do that shit. Okay, let's jump in here. <laughs> this one says, hopefully, final update. 1st of February, 2023. First, I want to say I've gotten so many questions about who Mary is, and I'm just not going to say it. Suffice to say that she's never been a household name famous, but she made a living solely on modeling for about a decade from what I understand. So she must have been popular enough that fashion people might know her. I really don't know how that whole world works, but in my opinion, it doesn't matter how many names you drop. You're not famous if you don't have a Wikipedia page. I don't think I have a Wikipedia page, so I'm not even verified on TikTok yet. Also got lots of comments that mostly jokingly called me a simp, and I can't argue with that. I totally am a simp for my wife. She's the coolest. I hope you all find a love that makes you feel this way. Okay, I think that's it. Here's the actual update. My wife loved the getaway weekend. We had a blast, and by the end of it, she said she felt like herself again. For a few days after we got back, things were really quiet, so we were hopeful that Mary had finally given up, but I felt uneasy about it all. Many of you warned me that Mary would try to interfere with my work, and while I initially dismissed it, I figured I would reach out to my boss just in case. I've been working at the same company for almost 10 years, and she's heard me vent about Mary before, so I didn't have to explain too much. My boss just reassured me that she knows my real character and would let me know if Mary tried anything. She did it. As you predicted, Mary did try to contact my boss a couple of days later. And the following is a recounting of what my boss told me. Apparently, Mary said that I needed to be fired because I was a predator and claimed to have proof that I assaulted her. My boss said that was a very serious accusation to make and asked Mary to explain what proof she had. Mary claimed there was a camera that caught the whole incident and my boss asked her to send the video. Then Mary got flustered and said the police had it, so my boss asked her to send a copy of the police report. Then Mary said it had a lot of private information in it, so my boss asked her to redact the private information and send it over. Then Mary said she didn't feel comfortable with that, and my boss told her that she could not take action against an employee based on word of mouth from a stranger. Then Mary shouted at her about victim blaming and hung up. Unfortunately, that was not the end of it. Last Wednesday, Mary somehow sent an email from my personal email account with a dick pic, not mine, obviously, to the entire office. My best guess is that I must have left my email logged in on one of my in-laws' devices. She's definitely not smart enough to actually hack me. And I know this is completely beside the point, but of course, she chose the weirdest looking dick I've ever seen. I played team sports my whole life. I've seen a lot of dicks, and this was something else. I, I, I don't know how to respond to that. It's honestly kind of funny to think about Mary googling gross penis or something and sifting through hundreds of images to find just the right one. I had to apologize to everyone on staff and thankfully folks were surprisingly understanding. It's actually been kind of a nice bonding experience with my coworkers. I honestly didn't consider myself to be super well liked in the office, but everyone but it feels like everyone has been going out of their way to be kind to me and it means a lot. Anyway, at this point it was clear we had to escalate things legally. I really wanted to avoid it, but she forced my hand. My wife and I have a lawyer friend who has helped us draft a cease and desist letter outlining her continued harassment and the material and emotional damage this is causing us. My wife then sent a message to Mary and my in-laws with a copy of the letter and made it very clear that we would pursue criminal and or civil proceedings if her harassment continued. My wife's mom then called her crying and begged her to just let it go and leave Mary alone. All right, ma. Boop. I mean, mom probably lived in Ascon 1 here already. Oh, it didn't trigger it. Hold on. We'll get there. Mom probably lived here already, but we're going there. We're going there anyway. Mom's going to Ascon 1. Leave Mary alone. She's done absolutely nothing to you except for being more more beautiful than you. Good job, mom. 
My wife calmly explained that Mary is the only person responsible for this whole situation and that their parents have always enabled her awful behavior. She also said something she later regretted, but I think was pretty badass. Mary is going to stick you two in a nursing home and steal your money the minute she has the chance and you deserve it. After the way her mom reacted, my wife is firmly settled on cutting off her family completely. Nice job. This happened on Friday, and on Sunday, Mary's best friend of me, Anne, sent my brother a message on Facebook to say Mary is going to leave us alone and to please not sue her. I told my brother not to respond, then just sat and enjoyed the idea that Mary was out there somewhere freaking out about the potential of having to actually face the consequences of her actions. Must be such a strange feeling for her. Since then, we haven't heard a peep from the grapevine. Feels like things are finally starting to go back to normal. My wife is starting therapy next week, and we'll be starting couples therapy in a month or two. She wants to do some work on herself first. She's also taking a short leave from work to rest and recharge. I'm so proud of her for standing up for herself with her family and finally putting her mental health and well-being first. Thanks again for everyone who offered advice. This was a messy situation, but it definitely would have been messier without your help. My wife is prioritizing her wellness, and I am one proud simp. All right, we have one last update. One last. So whenever she got to the point where where she was actually going to get sued for this and made false claims and figured out that she was actually going to have to have some kind of some kind of, you know, actual evidence lest be sued. She's like, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop now. I'm done. Don't just leave me alone. Uh, you know, let's do this. A simp is a silly or foolish person. The final update. 26th of August, 2023. Skip it ahead several months here. I forgot about this account completely until today I logged in to see so many comments and messages asking for an update. It's honestly touching to see how many people care about the situation and want the best for me and my wife. This will be a brief update. I don't want to make this a regular thing. And the original situation has resolved itself enough that I am hopeful this will be the end of the saga. Mary and my in-laws have pretty much left us alone. My mother-in-law still tries to contact my wife every now and then, but she's made it clear to her family that if the first words out of their mouths aren't, I'm sorry, she isn't interested in a conversation. Good for her. As you can see, the past six months have made my wife a badass. She has done some amazing work in therapy and her confidence is growing all the time. It's not just with her family. She's more comfortable asserting herself at work with strangers, with friends, etc. She's even stopped putting up with some of my shit. To be fair, that shit is stuff like my leaving socks everywhere around the house, but I'm seriously proud of her for telling me to cut it out. I'm becoming a more responsible and supportive partner because she's able to communicate her needs and expectations without feeling guilty about it, and I'm able to communicate things to her without intense emotions fully eclipsing the conversation. I didn't mention this in my earlier post, but my wife does struggle with rejection sensitivity even outside of her family. Often if I brought up something that I felt needed to change, her emotional reaction to feeling like she did something wrong would be really intense, and instead of dealing with the problem, it would become about regulating her emotions. Now my wife has some really good coping skills that allow her to talk about the problem without thinking she is the problem. And the biggest update, she's pregnant. We have a baby girl due in February. I'm shitting my pants with excitement. We're going to love her so much and teach her that she is more than her beauty. She's going to have happy parents who love each other and work through issues as a team. The toxic cycle will be broken. Jenna's family doesn't know, and she's not sure if or when she'll tell them. But if she does, there are going to be strong boundaries in place for how they can be a part of our daughter's life, and it'll start with family therapy. For now, she has one set of grandparents that'll go to the end of the earth for her, and that's more than enough. My family has been absolutely incredible in their support, and they are so excited for us. Things are looking better than they ever have. That's all, folks. Thanks again for your support on this wild journey. Captain Simp over and out. Nice. Nice work here. Um, that was a roller coaster as well. I think there are probably a lot of families out there who have a similar kind of dynamic where where one person becomes the punching bag and they've just dealt with it their whole lives and everyone just kind of accepts it to the point that, it, that they don't even realize that it's happening anymore. And that person has accepted it and just lives their life with all of the of the ripple effects with the others who are connected with them in their lives you know, feeling the feeling the damage from that as well it it would greatly change the way that you live your life if you had been treated this way and like he said their marriage has changed because she's now she's now got some coping tools that she can use and it has allowed her to, to grow her confidence level and it has changed everything for her. So just breaking free 
from this toxic family structure and just in the matter of less than a year and just a few months really has, has completely changed her as a person. That's how much control family dynamics can have over a person. It is just wild.